gonna stand there? Wanna be part of this video? Hi! Meh. So today I'm gonna talk to you about a makeup brand that I discovered recently called Geek Chic Cosmetics. This is a brand that combines perfectly your inner geek with your love for makeup. Their concept is pretty cool. They kind of get inspired by fandoms from TV shows or books or movies or video games or anything that you can think of that has a fandom. So they have a bunch of eyeshadow collections inspired by fandoms such as Game of Thrones, Mass Effect, Walking Dead, Guardians of the Galaxy, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings and so on and so forth. There is a bunch of them. They are cruelty free and they are vegan so that's a major plus and their products are pretty good quality and they have a huge variety of shades which is awesome. Besides the eyeshadows I believe they also sell lipsticks or lip glosses and some face products but I'm not sure since I've only got eye products. The, the collections are not actually called like Harry Potter collection or Hannibal collection or whatever, they can't do that because I'm assuming copyright infringement. So for example, the Hannibal is called This Is My Design and um, Guardian of the Galaxy for example is called Awesome Mix. The, the Harry Potter one it's, it's called Witchcraft and Wizardry I believe. And so basically it's like a little reference about the fandom that probably only fans would get it, which is pretty cute. Also, the names for the eyeshadows are based on the fandom also. On their website they have a little description for their eyeshadows, like what inspired the name or the color, I'm assuming. So for example, in the Hannibal collection, that is red eyeshadow called He's Eating Them. And you have this little description that says, you had a bad day. All your friends think you're crazy, except for the one you know is crazy. And now you realize that at some point you probably shook hands with some of the best meals you've ever eaten. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's so adorable. I don't know why. I love it. Like, description and the, the name for the eyeshadows. I know. I don't know. The fangirl in me just lo I love them. I love it. It's adorable. Basically this is the part that I kind of envy the people that don't have any particular fandoms or don't have any interest in any particular TV show or movie or which would be kind of depressing. But anyway, you can actually be objective about the things they're gonna buy, which doesn't happen to me because obviously I'm gonna buy the things from the fandoms I like. It's like I didn't even check the other the colors from the other fandoms because I'm like, oh no way! I'm just gonna buy like my animal and my my Lord of the Rings and whatnot. The only one that I really really wanted to like but I didn't is the La Filette Revolutionaire collection, which is inspired by the anime Utena, which I absolutely love. That show is probably my favorite anime. Ever. Can you imagine having like this little eyeshadow with a rose crest on it? Like the Utena rose crest? Do you know what I'm talking about? The Utena rose crest? It's so beautiful. You should totally watch that show. Anyway, but there, was a there wasn't any color in that collection that I really liked. So even though I really love Utena, I really hate to waste money. So I didn't actually get any eyeshadow from the Utena collection, although I kind of regret it. Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe next time? I don't know. So I got five eyeshadows. My original idea was to get one from each collection I loved, but since I didn't get an eyeshadow from Utena, I got two from the Mass Effect, Mass Effect collection, which is called M7. And I'm gonna show you some swatches. First of all, let's talk about the primer. The primer I I didn't have any eyeshadow primer until now and, and I was looking for a cruelty free vegan one for a long time and so I decided to try I'm still not completely sure if I like it as you can see it's really hard it looks almost like 
candle wax or something. I wish it could be a little bit softer or creamier because it's not that easy to put on your eyes. You and because and because it's transparent, you're never too sure if you put the right amount of product or not. Anyway, on some eyeshadows, I noticed that it doesn't make much difference on the color, but it does make a huge difference on making it last longer. So if you put this primer, it will last you probably the entire day. Although in some colors, I didn't see much different in terms of popping out more, but you'll see in the swatches. So the first swatch I'm going to show you, it's from the um, Fellowship Collection, which is Lord of the Rings, obviously. And it's called Lady of the Golden Wood. It's this pearly white eyeshadow with some golden highlights and gold glitter. The white is not completely opaque when you put it on. It's more of an highlighter, so I use it to highlight underneath my underneath my eyebrows or I even use it on my cheeks to highlight my cheeks. You get some gold glitter on it, but it's fine. It looks fabulous. Um, and here's the difference between the um, swatch which I used the primer and the swatch I didn't use the primer. So the next one I'm going to show you is from the Hannibal Collection. The Hannibal Collection is called This Is My Design and this shade is called Raven Stag. It's a beautiful blue, dark blue, very hard to describe because it I think it kind of has this shimmer, it's kind of red and green at the same time. I'm not sure if my camera is actually showing the true color. These colors are really hard to show on camera because they have so many shades on them. All of them, everything about Geek Cosmetics is they don't usually have a color that's just one tone. They Their eyeshadows are so rich and they are just so full of different shades. It's really hard to, to explain. Sometimes you think you have one shade but then when you kind of turn your head or something. It shimmers a different shade and it's awesome. So this one is a really deep blue and I think it kind of has like a kind of a red and green shade. It's hard to explain. It's magnificent. This is one of my favorites for sure. Next I'm gonna show you the Harry Potter one which is from the Witchcraft and Wizardry collection. This one is called You Know Who and it's like a dark emerald green with tons of glitter, like tons of glitter. It's, it's beautiful. This doesn't have many different shades to it, it's more like green and blue maybe, but it's beautiful. It's like, it's awesome. This one and Raven Stag are probably my favorites. So next I'm going to show you the um, two I got from the um, Mass Effect collection which, call, which is called N7 Set. The red one I was looking for a red, bright red for a long time. Mostly when you get red eyeshadows they are not really red, they are like more orange and that really frustrates me. So when I saw this N7 one I was really excited about it and I was even more excited when I saw it live. This is a super true red. I don't Thing. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it in camera if it looks a bit orange, but trust me, it's red. Red. It's also the one I'm wearing underneath my eyes. And although in the, the website it looks like it has some shimmer or glitter to it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't at all. It's actually a matte color and it's beautiful. The second one is called 
what's underneath the helmet. We're assuming that this could be Tali's skin tone or something. I love it, Tali. Anyway, this is a beautiful lilac. It's pretty light. This is also the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. Yeah, and also it's pretty. It's kind of a matte color, although in the side it looks like sparkly. It is not. It's a cool toned deep purple. It has like a little tiny sheen to it, but it's mostly matte. So I'm super happy with my purchase. I forgot to mention that I got I got these eyeshadows on Black Friday. So they took a long time to arrive, but like a month maybe, an entire month was a long wait. But it was not the store the store's fault at all. They kind of warned me that it would take a long time to process the order because since it was Black Friday, they had they had a ton of orders. So it was like two weeks just to process the order and like another two weeks to arrive. This shipping is super affordable. Usually I kind of avoid ordering stuff from the United States because the prices for the, the shipping are usually ridiculous. But these were pretty affordable. I think I paid like six dollars for shipping, which is okay, seriously. I can live with six dollars. So I'm definitely going to order from them again. The eyeshadows are usually six dollars, so the, the shipping price is just adding an extra eyeshadow. But since it was Black Friday, I think I got 25% discount on everything, so it was definitely worth it. Hey! Hey to you too, Tila! Yes, yes. <laughs> 